Hi everybody and welcome back to Wealth Wednesdays. My name is Janine Rogan and I am the CEO of the Wealth Building Academy and today we are going to be talking about subscriptions. Now, subscriptions are something that have become part of our daily life, whether it's Netflix or a subscription to Audible to listen to our books, or even some car companies are charging subscriptions for things like heated seats. Subscriptions are all around us and it is a marketing ploy to get people to buy into something that doesn't necessarily have a high upfront cost. We've actually also seen some credit card companies do this. Instead of charging a $120 annual fee, they charge $10 a month as a subscription. Now, this is great for consumers who want to spread their payment out over 12 months. However, it can be really easy to get into a situation where you have a ton of subscriptions and you don't even know how much you're paying on a monthly or an annual basis. Personally, in November, I went through all of my subscriptions and ended up canceling over $250 worth of subscriptions that I was no longer using or I was able to negotiate down by considering to cancel that subscription with the company. I think this is a really good practice, especially coming into the new year, to go through your subscriptions, see what you're being charged on a monthly basis, and decide whether or not you need that subscription right now, or if you can pause it or cancel it and revisit it in the future. If you're like me and you actually also found a charge that you weren't sure what it was, and you were wondering why they were charging you 20 US dollars every month, um, you can head over to the website whatsthecharge.com and there is a ton of website information in terms of credit card transactions that show you what those merchants are actually charging you for. I do think we as a society need to demand better regulation around what is showing up on our credit card bills because when I called my credit card company to dispute the charge, they weren't even able to tell me what the name of the merchant was. So I wasn't able to actually contact that company. They told me that I ultimately needed to just cancel my credit card and start over. That can be a pain in the butt. So I did some digging and also used that website, What's the Charge? to figure out what company was actually charging me and I contacted them to cancel it. All this to say, you could be saving hundreds of dollars a month by simply going through your credit card statement and deciding whether or not those subscriptions are going to be necessary right now or if you can put them off to sometime in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next week.